Hi there, it's Ken with RogueDeckBuilder.com. We have a match number two with the Grab and Go deck. To the people hand, my opponent is on red. Sorry, I wasn't thought I was recording, but was not recording. Uh, Blood Crypt, Rakdos Gilgate. I'll play the Lord Rakdos Gilgate first, so I can guarantee some land. Not liking that Falcon that Aristocrat draw, but maybe later I will. I do have all the sack outlets. Now I need a Mark of Mutinies and whatnot. So Lightning Mauler, I can always tragic slip that next turn. And yep, I will keep up the tragic slip for a Lightning Mauler. So Rakdos deck. Interesting. Hope he puts a madcap skills on his Lightning Mauler. Come on, you dude, you want to do that. You know you do. Gloom Surgeon. Maybe that's actually better to kill. Yeah, that is definitely better to kill. Um, he didn't pair. Maybe he is better just kill it. So he's he's planning on kill, uh, getting something bigger with the lightning mauler. I'll kill the lightning mauler right now. I might I might uh, end up not liking that, but now I've got the combo. So I'm gonna go ahead and go barrage. And the Blood Throne Vampire. And pass it back to him. And if Falcon Wrath Aristocrat comes out, we have an answer for it. Let's see what, what he would have paired. And eh, might as well sack it to itself. Even though I don't have any way to get rid of it. I'm not I'm hoping I draw into a land. That's ideal. As then I can just... Okay. At this point, no, now we, we lost our sack outlet. <laughs> our free one, anyway. So now, again, we're stuck on three lands. Seems to be the story of my life. Liliana's Reaver, whenever Liliana steals down, combat damage, see, I have to kill that. So I absolutely have to draw into either a creature, next turn a bone splitter to kill off that Liliana Reaver, or... A land. Oh, this is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we can mark a mutiny here. Grab his Liliana's Reaver. He has no sack outlet here. Tack. Yay, he gets to discard a card. So <laughs> this deck is incredibly fun, if nothing else. And I get a 2 2 zombie joke. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. So hilarious. And gets rid of a pillar of flame. And then I can sack to do one damage to him. Because I'd rather he would just end up just exiling a card from his library. So we'll sack that and do a damage. Hey, that's awesome. It's a cool little <laughs> thank you for paying that Liliana Reaver. Come again. And I've got this is all but a wrap. I really don't think he can do anything here. I'm going to out aggro him. I mean, another Liliana Reaver will be amazing. I mean, he's, he's more than welcome to do that. Yep, he's more than welcome to throw out a Vampire Nighthawk for me to mark a mutiny as well. Awesome. So I'm taking two here. I'm going to gain three back. And... I can bone splinter it off to kill a gloom surgeon. I'm thinking that's fine. I'd, I'd rather gloom surgeons aren't the greatest threats in the world. Man, <laughs> he just scoops. <laughs> All right, well, Festering Newt would have been horrible for him, too. Another act of treason's coming up. This is how this deck works. <laughs> so, Pillar Flames, probably not very good against him. Searing Spear is a way to kill off the dude. I might need to bring in Bubbling Cauldron. I'm going to take the Trading Post out and then Travis Almond out. And I'll bring it. I'm just going to bring in a Uno Searing Spear, just a one of Searing Spear. And maybe Blood Artists are bad because he can pillar them. Maybe, maybe Young Pyromancers are bad. I'm not sure. I, I'm liking this, though. 
I don't think I need to bring in any more. So I'm going to bring in one more Searing Spear and take out a Blood Throne Vampire. I'm going to take out both of Blood Throne Vampires. I think there's going to be food. Bring in another Searing Spear. And I, anything else we can... We're down to 16 creatures, though. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to bring in one more Searing Spear. For a Blood Artist? Are Blood Artists any good in this one? Our goblin arson is good in this. Do goblin arsonists do much is the question. All right, that's fine. We'll we'll call it good. Uh, definitely a keepable hand. We need two more lands, but we've got the tragic slip for any sort of shenanigans. So we have a cack no cackler, and there's a dragon school summit. Like to see that play the swamp we can tragic slip a lightning mauler that comes out if i even care about a lightning mauler i think i, I we can just yeah nothing's going to come out now so we can go dragon skull summit blood artist and he can he can definitely pillar this off he can tragic slip this off it's not necessary in this matchup Let's see if he comes out there's the pillar yeah i expected that that's fine i have no way to get it back and the mauler comes out and next turn we do have a tragic slip for it or whatever he pairs with it so i do have to worry about a liliana's reaver again at this point though i do believe tragic slip is a fine choice against the lightning mauler And there's our young Pyromancer. He's probably going to end up getting pillared. But he's going to give me those creatures next turn. Searing Spearman end a turn, I'm sure. Okay, but it's still a card for a card. And he's getting quite barren. Whatever he puts out now, whether it be a Thundermaw Hellkite, whether it be a Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, whether it be anything, is going to get Mark of Mutinied. Yeah, it's going to get Mark of Mutinied. And I'm going to steal it and eat it. So a good six point life swing here. Puts me up 23 and him down to, down to 17. And we can go ahead and sack it to draw two cards. And now we've got our barrage. Now, he's down to two cards. We're up to four cards. We're about the same on a land count. He's getting flooded. But there's a Festering Newt. I'm okay with that. We will actually play it first and then go ahead and, and throw out the Falcon at the Aristocrat. And that way, we can protect our dude. Unless he's got a Tragic Slip. So we should be in very good position here. I don't see him coming back from this. He looks extremely land flooded. Yeah, extremely land flooded. Let's see if he bonfires here or something. Master of Cruelties. <laughs> I'm laughing at him. <laughs> and I'll wink at him. So <laughs> I get to steal his master acuities and kill him next turn. So he's a fan too, so anyway, show the rogue deck filler what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so funny, funny. Okay, so we get to throw... <laughs> we'll just take two life here too, just in case five. <laughs> Roger, this is hilarious. We, we mark Mutiny the Master Cruelties. Grab it. Swing away. 
Oh, we, we'll just attack with that guy, that's fine. And so it... Put, yep, comes one. Yep. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Anyway, I'm glad I got to see that <laughs> interaction. This is Kevin from RogueDickBlue.com. Thanks for watching.